Let's make an IR keyless door lock using Arduino and a servo motor with the TSOP 4838 IR receiver. B Monster Laboratory here. Back in March, I posted a video about an Arduino keyless door lock using RFID and a servo motor, and I got a couple questions from that. Question number two was, is there some way to add an IR control to unlock the door without standing up? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need. I'm gonna show you how to wire it. I'm gonna show you the code, which I'll eventually post to our Facebook page. This is a project anyone can do. Let's begin. For this project, I'm using an Elegant Mega 2560 board. I'm using a green and red LED with a TSOP 4838 IR receiver. And right here connected to the two LEDs are two uh, 220 ohm resistors. Over here I have a servo motor and a lock and they're mounted on this piece of wood uh, using hot glue. And uh, the servo motor is connected to the lock using a paper clip that I bent to, uh, to fit into the, uh, the arm here of the servo motor. And I have the power supply here connected to the PC. And for the IR transmitter, I'm just using a regular television remote control. Uh, most of them will work, if not all of them, so uh, that's what I'm using for that. The wiring for this is not too difficult. We'll start with the servo motor here. The brown, the brown wire here is your ground wire, and I have that connected to the ground rail here on the breadboard. And the middle wire, which is red, that's your, uh, your power and I have that connected to the positive rail here on the breadboard and both of these rails are supplied by ground and 5 volt pins here on the Elegant Mega board and the yellow wire here on our servo motor is our signal wire and that is connected to pin number 3 here on the board over here on the breadboard we have two LEDs, a green LED uh, signifying that the lock is open and a red LED signifying that the lock is closed and the positive pins of those uh, LEDs, the positive pin of the green LED is connected to pin number 9 and the positive pin of the red LED is connected to pin number 7. The ground pins of both of these LEDs are connected to the ground rail by a 220 ohm resistor. Now here in the middle I have the TSOP 4838 IR receiver. It's got three pins. The pin on the left is the signal pin the pin in the middle is ground and the pin on the right is your BCC pin and the right pin here is connected to the 5 volt rail here on the breadboard and the middle pin is connected to the ground rail the uh, left pin here, the signal pin, is connected to pin number 11 on the Elegant Mega board. That's it for the wiring here and I will include this schematic in case you need it. Here's the code for this project and uh, in this I use the IR remote and the servo libraries. I came down here and I set the IR pin, the, uh, the IR receiver pin is connected to pin 11 on my board. My green LED is connected to pin 9. My red LED is connected to pin 7. You come down here and we're going to use this to decode the buttons on our remote control so that we can use that to open and close our lock and we come down here we want to set up our serial monitor we also want to set up the green and red LED pin as our outputs and we come down here we want to activate the uh, IR receiver and we want to say that our servo motor is connected to pin 3 now down here in the loop what you want to do is use the results of decoding your remote control buttons to operate your lock and that's exactly what we did. We used the results value. This is a value associated with a button on my remote control and that will activate the red light. It will also lock the, uh, close the lock. And down here I use this value, the results value, from decoding the button on my remote control. It will activate the green LED and it will also open the lock. So that is the code, pretty short and simple. The first thing that you want to do is go to the code. And in the code you want to make sure that you have the serial.begin. I'm using 9600 pod speed and you want that in the setup. You also want to come down here and make sure that you have the serial.println. You want to tell your Arduino what you want printed in your serial monitor. 
and we want results dot value printed where did that come from each button on our remote control has a coded number and when we use the IR remote library we can decode those numbers on the button and we come down here and we can use the results dot value of this number right here this is associated with my number three button on my remote control this is the decoded value for my number three button it is going to lock the latch the lock and it will light up the red pin the uh, red LED if we come down here this results dot value is uh, ending in 673 that's associated with the VCR button on my remote control and it will open the lock and light up the green LED in order to decode the buttons on your remote you want to open the serial monitor and each, each time you open the serial monitor that will uh, reset your Elegoo Mega uh, board I don't know if it does it with the other ones but the Elegoo Mega board does reset and on our serial monitor we see the value of zero if we aim the controller at our IR receiver and press the 3 button you can see the value of the number 3 button pop up right here if you scroll down in the code you can see that that number matches this number right here up here's my VCR button if I press that button we see at a value ending in 673 if I scroll down here that is this number right here it's associated with the VCR button if you start pressing different buttons you're gonna have different numbers because it's decoding each button and what you do is you take that you copy and paste whichever button you want to use and you you paste it down here in your code and after doing that each time I press that button the IR receiver will pick up on that and it will read this number right here and you will get a uh, an open or a close for your lock and if you're using LEDs it'll light up an LED maybe so that's how you do that after everything is set up this remote will reach pretty far but I'll keep it in view of the camera so it'll be really close and uh, I have the three the button three set up to close the lock and I set the VCR button to open the lock so I press the three button and it's closed I press VCR to open three to close open and again this will reach um, just as far as it would when you're controlling your uh, TV well that's all I've got for today if you did happen to find this video helpful go ahead and like it by clicking the thumbs up and as always thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it I'll see you again very soon with another video